Hi, it's nice to meet you again. In last video, we introduced you M100 or M3 finance board. This time, we got a Q670 or H670 last board. We have produced many last boards before, and I will show you one by one next time. But this one is the best one in my mind, because it combines performance, extension, and even it supports way perfection. This board supports 12 to 14 desktop CPU, and using DDR5 desktop memory, max 192 GB, equipped with 3 M2 slot and 8 SATA 3.0. And it has a PCI 5.0 x16 PCI slot, which can support graphics card or 10 GB network card, etc. And it can split to two PCI 5.0 x8. So it's very well perfect, isn't it? When you choose Q670 and your CPU is above i5, 12500 or above, you can use WePro but when you choose H670, you can't use Wipro. That's worth noting. So let's switch our camera to see this board carefully. This is the outer box. Motherboard. One of the card. Buffer plate. And the screws. Okay, let's see the aisle on board. This is two USB 3.2. One is USB A and one is Type C. HDMI and a DP interface, which can support 4K display. Two 2.5 GB network card. When you choose Q670, this is one I226V and one I226LM, which support V Pro. And when you choose H670, that is two I226V. That's the difference. This is two USB 3.0 and a Mac in, audio out. Inside, this is a CPU holder. This board can support 12 to 14 CPU. When you need Wii Perfection, you should choose i5, 12500 and above CPU. If not, I suggest you choose T0 CPU. And this is the Delta fixed host. This time, we will design it for compatibility. It supports LGA115X and LGA1700. Interesting, isn't it? And this is a two memory slot. It supports DDR5 desktop memory. Dual channel memory slot can support max to 192 GB. Powerful, isn't it? Now, let's look at the storage. This board has three M2 slots and eight SATA 3.0. This is one of the M2 slots which runs on PCI 5.0 x4 and the signal comes from CPU it can support 2280 or 22110 M2 size and the back there are also two M2 slots which runs on PCI 4.0 and 4 and the signal comes from South Bridge chip so the M2 is all four speed signal and those are 8 SATA 3.0, and they are all native without any converter chips. So it can maximize the speed of the SATA. The SATA speed will not be affected by adapter, and the signal all comes from South Bridge chip. And they all Intel SATA control. Perfect, isn't it? And here is a 4-speed PCI slot. It runs on PCI 5.0 x16 signal. You can use it to extend graphic cards or 10 GB network card, etc. And it can be split to two PCI 5.0 x8 slot. Playable, isn't it? Now, let's talk about Wipro. When using Wipro, you should choose i5, 12500 or other CPU above this. And you should choose Q670. And it equipped with i226LM, which supports Wipro. And of course, the BIOS should also support Wipro, and we have done this. These four factors are equally important and are intentional. At last, let's see some more details of this board. This is a South Split chip and it's the Delta. 24 pin and 8 pin power supply. Board battery. USB 3.0 holder, which can extend to chassis pan panel. USB 2.0 interface, 
which is convenient for system boot or dongle. MOS and its data, CPU fan and the system fan. And this is the back of the board. Okay, this is all about this board. We are developing more powerful and more interesting board like this. Let's wait and see. Any questions, you can leave a message in comment section. I will reply as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye.